I'm Dr. Yana Howard. I am a roboticist. And so what does that mean? I design, build, and program robots primarily to address the needs of children with disabilities. If you think about it, like everyone's fascinated by robots. I mean, from the age of three to 80, they're fascinated about the possibilities in the future. And we are now in a time where robots are becoming a reality, where robots are being integrated in our lives. And that's why I love it. I've actually been labeled as the oldest black female roboticist in the U.S., even though I don't think I'm that old. And, but I think one of the things about this robotics of the new world is that it involves everyone. And everyone has a diverse experience. If that isn't brought to the table, it means that we're creating robots for not everyone. And so one of the things about being different is that all of our differences together really address the world internationally, gender-based, cultural-based, and that's really what's needed. The world we're in and, and we're moving to is this collaborative robotics. What does that mean? It means that humans and machines are working together. That's different than in the past when you had things like manufacturing and the robot was by themselves and people were by themselves. Now we have this collaboration where humans and robots are working together to solve problems, do new tasks, and even enhance what humans may have difficulties with. One of the things about this world of robotics is sometimes it frightens people. There's a lot of fear about, well, these robots might be better than us, so maybe they're going to take away our jobs. But I really think that jobs are being redefined even now without robotics. It doesn't really matter. Jobs are being redefined. And what robots allows us to do, it allows us to retrain. So imagine you have someone who has to be retrained, who has to figure out new skills. If they have an agent working with them, just like with a partner, Humans are intelligent. They can adapt in real time as long as they have a guide. That's where robots can fit. I think that the world of robotics and robots are gonna be as seamless as our cell phones. You have to be comfortable with it. You have to understand it. You have to embrace it. Hopefully you also program and develop and design. And I think what we need is that everyone who understands this new world actually embraces being part of it, being part of creating this new world in terms of quality of life, enhanced jobs, and all that comes with it.